Hello and welcome to Chemsys MediQ tutorial. This one will have a look on how to create a uh, an FX from a Q stack. So this way you can you know quickly create any or a custom effect uh, which you can adjust and so on afterwards. Perhaps if you, if you want something specific to loop. Uh, so to do that, let's. Uh, Let's uh, create our first step, and then we're going to create a, a second step. Double tap on the S, and then shift, and up here it says make effects. So say, uh, name it something, uh, and then select the attributes you want to to kind of extract the effects from. So perhaps RGB, zoom, and pan, and tilt, and done. Now if I select this, uh, add effects, and then user effects, you can see that we got this, uh, uh, the fix appears, uh, and then when you select it, perhaps absolute, you can now see that your FX is running. Uh, well, it, it, it's, it's the same steps as we recorded down here, so you can make it faster. You can also Oops. So if I put that to zero, you can see it kind of sn quickly snaps to each step, so you can see that it's recorded correctly. We could try to uh, do a custom image chase as well. Uh, so let's select all. Uh, first, we're gonna record the first step like this. Uh, the only the R uh, washes. So I'm gonna record that there. Gonna bring it down, record next step, and then I'm gonna bring this these two to full. And then like that. Finally I'm gonna bring these to full and then to zero again. So now This is our chase, and then I'm gonna turn it into effect, uh, and I'm gonna choose just dimmer. And sometimes it says make effects applied and attributes, so I'm gonna press no for the moment being, and then perhaps uh, blind, and then I'm gonna select that. You can now see that uh, it's running whatever we recorded. So this way you can create, you know, if you want the fixtures to flash in a specific way, like that. There we go. And if we have a look on, we go to the FX here. Edit FX and then we're going to choose, let's say, this one. You can see all your parameters here, and you can also see that it's recorded the FX over, over four heads. So, for this to work properly, you need to have at least four heads, or perhaps uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and so, and so on. You, you can see what each channel is doing here for each head. You can also have a look on the other one. You can see that it's recorded for all the attributes we specified as well as for uh, several heads. So we got head number one and these attributes and head number two and these attributes. 
So this way you could then perhaps change the curves and whether to you know customize your effects. So, but it's a quick way to to you know create the basics and you can play around with that. So that's it. Thanks for watching.